Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. This is Sylvia and this is the Journal de Sylvie. Uh, today I want to share with you my 2021 uh, planner setup and without further ado, let's start. So um, my planner for this year is the Traveler's Notebook and it's on the camel size and I still believe it's the best one, color and quality one that I had. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. I have a small pendant here with um, a vintage clock um, and I think I like the theme of the clocks because it symbolizes time and it's probably one of the most precious gifts we have is time. So um, let's start. So my uh, planner is divided into three sections, monthly, weekly and journal. And between each section I have um, uh, craft envelopes or plastic pockets to identify or kind of distinguish each, each section. So <clears throat> to begin with, I have the travel, this is the first section and um, I start by having the um, traveler's notebook pocket, plastic pocket. So this one offers you 12 slots. For me, I treat it like a mini family album and this ha this is how I keep everyone that I love in my family dearly with me all the time, especially that we are kind of far from each other at this moment. So um, yeah, so I have here 12 uh, basically pictures that of me of course 12 slots you can use them otherwise like pictures and business cards or anything for me it's a mini family album so that's the first thing and then I have my second um, uh, again envelope storage binder or zipper and it's this one I really like the color because I think it goes very well with the camel and I got this from Amazon they have the yellow and the olive green olive one and what I like about it that it's rough and it's very sturdy so I keep here some labels for my weekly planner and I will show you an example how I use those to decorate my weekly uh, to-do list and because it's very sturdy it doesn't fold or wrinkle anything inside so it's it's a good one and then i have my first insert which is my monthly from traveler's notebook i really like the color so i didn't over decorate and <clears throat> i like the theme of traveler's company this year which is book and traveling so for me it's perfect I don't need to add anything I just added a small stamp art stamp from a washi tape that I have and in the back I only have one stamp here same color and I just have clipped this vintage um, card that I think it looks very nice so as for how I do it I usually have the uh, habit to add the label to identify what type of insert this is, which in this case is the 2021 monthly. I added this picture that I found in Pinterest probably, and I find it very nice, makes me, it's a very cheerful picture, and um, I added a Europe stamp, same color theme. You have two years at a glance, you have your entire year for traveling plans probably, hopefully. And this was December 2020, it was a busy month um, and um, you can have all your monthly events. And I usually decorate it with art washi tapes, they bring a lot of color and life to my spreads and this is a Van Gogh washi tape. As for January, I still don't have anything, I just added this in the blank spaces, a washi tape, an art one and a small sticker toward January. That concludes the flip through for uh, January. And here is the back of that binder, zipper binder. So there is a zipper here and it offers you three slots plus an envelope here. So in this three slots, I add more pictures printed by my HP Sprocket one um, and more of like some sort of craft label. I used to I usually use to decorate my journal spreads and over here we have this pocket 
that I keep inside an envelope where I have smaller size stickers so instead of you know losing it I keep them all here and it, this way it's very practical for me okay and this is the back of the plastic 12 uh, slots my family album so this concludes my first section from my planner which is my monthly the second part is distinguished here by this craft envelope so this craft envelope kind of remains with you in your planner for longer time you can change the insert but this one remains so i added a sticker that I kind of like or to see for a longer time because I'm kind of stuck with it and I really like this one uh, it's taken with an old style photography you can tell from the color saturations and in this craft envelope I keep my 2021 uh, travelers notebook stickers work in progress to use everything and this craft envelope is hosting my most productive insert which is my weekly and again I didn't over decorate because I like to see the color and I kept the theme they offered with a couple of art stamps I think this one has a quote it says here it's a Rembrandt one and it says the first step is as good as half over and so on and this is a sticker for uh, a painter named Cezanne it's the same style of Van Gogh and in the back again I kept the theme of the traveler uh, notebook like traveling and reading now I have here what type of insert it is which is 019 free diary weekly plus memo I think next year I will go for the dated one but this is working fine for me for now and even that the theme is about traveling I like to have a like touch of art so I created that collage in the front page and over here are two blank pages. I added this washi. It's for going to be for my weekly, uh, excuse me, not weekly, my yearly goals. I'm just kind to working on it. So I'm, I'm dumping them in a, in a draft before I kind of have them fixed here. And then you have six months of Jan to June, you had to stamp it because it's free, it doesn't come dated, and July to December, and here starts my weekly tasks. So I have three points to share with you about this system. One, that um, I really appreciate, for example, the memo page that this type of insert offers. Why? Because I don't need more than this page to be realistic and to be more productive, right? I don't want to I don't need more and you can actually divide they have a small mark here you can divide it so this creates actually even more space so it's up to you to to draw that line or not and it's up to you to draw that line to differentiate the dates that's the first thing the second thing that this over here is the free memo where you can have your uh, shopping list grocery or just a quick plan like for example this was a day uh, a one day trip and I needed to add all the details and the contacts and so this way I feel like I'm using my insert very efficiently another example of my uh, weekly tasks again I always use this to divide the line and this offers me almost it feels like I have doubled the space I had for my tasks okay and I add those labels that I showed you previously that I keep and it's a one good way to decorate your pages by writing on a label so if you don't know how to decorate your spread labels can really work nice you see I over here I used it for travel over here I used it for bon voyage so those labels worked fine with me and again I have my beautiful space in the memo 
Now, uh, for example, I use this page to set up or have ideas about how I'm going to set up my reading journal. And I, I, I dumped everything and the design of my spread, what I want to add in it. Okay, and the theme I'm keeping for the entire year is that I'm adding every time in every single page in the upper left side a stamp. Stamp of art, a stamp of a country, and so forth. And I am here using the, um, I'm stamping the month. So this, it, 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 it turned out to be nice that I am having this consistent yet different shapes of the consistent theme and this is January you don't have to add stickers you can add any I thought this is going with the season you know and it's winterish vintage type of thing so over here I used this memo to add my projects for 2021 temporary once I'm done with this list I will move them to my first page uh, of goals um, so that was a quick flip through. The last tip I have to share with you about decorating your weekly spreads is, for example, I had here the theme of stamp from Paris, a washi tape, and I finished. So I ended up with an extra space here. It's okay, you can go here and pick one of the nice pictures you have that brings you nice memory. You know, I have a bunch of pictures here and use it. And this way you carry more beautiful memorable moments in your weekly and use the space to decorate if you don't have the right sticker so your own pictures are, are a good way to decorate your spread or well, that's what I do so this concludes my uh, weekly insert uh, flip through and it's the last part which is the back of that craft folder that identifies this section and I have in this craft folder this mini mini board of different spreads and I took this from the Traveler's Times newsletter that come when you buy anything from them um, I hope you know what I mean and they had in it uh, examples of different spreads and I thought it's very nice so I picked the one I like I cut them and I put them on this little craft paper and I'm using it as my inspirational mini spread board that's how I call it and so if this is it if this tip is helpful for you yeah that would be nice in the back of my craft folder I keep my 2021 clear folder traveler's notebook and in this one you can put receipts but in my case I put the stamps which is the theme I'm committed to have in my weekly this is uh, uh, France, England, um, Italy, England, and three previews of them that I recently realized that we can also stick that, which is great. And this is again the theme that I'm keeping over here. So since this is done and I know that I'm going to use them along the year, I'm, I'm adding them here. And this is a piece of paper grid that I highly recommend having because this can cover any mistakes you do in your weekly tasks. So uh, an example of how I use that is over here. I don't know if it shows in the camera, but this is a piece of paper that covered the original spread and I read it because, yeah, mistakes happen. So I, I did that. So this is the type of um, covering anything that went wrong. So I keep this here. And keep my mini mini inspirational board so this concludes the second part over here my weekly and here is my traveler notebook um, clip and we're reaching the third part of my chunky planner which is my journal and for that is again any insert that i have i like to um, um, accommodate it in some sort of a folder or a craft folder and in this case is this plastic traveler's notebook one which has the writing board oh, what happened here a writing board which i love the colors and the theme and over here i keep a nice um decorating decorative paper i don't remember what i bought from traveler's company but i ended up with this little craft case so I don't know if I will need to ever use it but I have a small bag here it looks nice another um, 
picture that I like over here and the back of that plastic folder is actually a very very nice big pocket that takes plenty of things over here I have three envelopes that uh, are very useful um, decorating or using as an envelope or both I have a picture that I really like looking at I print it and this is a picture this is a picture of me in um, my neighborhood in Greece a piece of craft paper and this is a postcard from one of Shakespeare's uh, I really like looking at it Shakespeare's novels I think the Tempest over here and that's for the plastic that host my journal and this is my journal where I you know I journal about if we a day well spent or thoughts or I I just want to to talk about anything and I decided to cover it with this beautiful craft decorative paper I did not decorate the front yet over here I have some collage from the traveler's notebook accessories and this is taken from the Traveler's Times newsletter. Uh, it's okay in your journal to add a memory from before. You don't have to stick to what's 2020 or 2021 is. So if it, this was something, uh, a trip we took in 2019 and it makes me happy to remember um, a highlight of it. So you, you, you can add anything you want that makes you happy. This is the day we went to the woods, spent a nice evening over there or afternoon. This is a day where we went to bike for a good nine miles and that actually spread was inspired by one of those mini, I think it was this one, mini inspirational spreads they have. I added this craft and the rest is still blank of course. So to conclude, I'm sorry if it took too long, this is the first monthly section uh, hosted with two storage uh, binder and this is my weekly which is covered from both sides with my craft envelope and finally my journal which is in between that plastic envelope I can put this here and I like my traveler notebook to be big and have everything that I like all together so Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was inspirational in any way. Please share your comments, your tips, if you have any way that I can uh, do things in more efficient way. Um, let's um, share it together and happy journaling. Thank you. Bye bye.